Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for this important announcement. My name is Diane Doyle. I have the privilege to be the CEO of Providence Healthcare and uh, home to the BC Centre for Excellence in HIV AIDS. It's my pleasure to act as the MC for today's session. I'm especially glad to uh, welcome our health uh, care partners and in particular uh, Minister Falcon, uh, Minister of Health Services. And in a moment I'm going to ask Minister Falcon to come to the podium to make a special announcement. But before I do that, I'd like to introduce our guests uh, and speakers. So uh, after Minister Falcon uh, speaks, uh, we'll be hearing from Dr. Julio Montaner. And Julio is the director of the BC Center for Excellence in HIV AIDS here at St. Paul's Hospital. The BC Center for Excellence was established in 1992 at a time when one British Columbian was dying from AIDS almost every day. The Centre is Canada's largest HIV and AIDS research treatment and education facility and is internationally recognized as an innovative world leader in combating HIV, AIDS and related diseases. Since its inception at St. Paul's Hospital, the BC Centre for Excellence has been committed to the highest standards in innovative and integrated research and in translating research results into policy and practice that improve and save the lives of people living with HIV. Through the innovation and leading edge research of the BC Centre for Excellence, AIDS mortality rates in BC have dropped dramatically. Patient clinical outcomes have improved and mother to child transmission has been virtually eradicated in this province. Providence Healthcare is proud to have the country's finest professionals working in HIV AIDS research, education, and treatment. And the clinical care at St. Paul's Hospital here and at the Center for our BC Center for Excellence and the John Rudy Immunodeficiency Clinic. Today, Dr. Montana will bring his unique perspective on how today's announcement will positively impact people living with HIV AIDS here in British Columbia. Following Dr. Montana, we'll hear for, from Mr. Greg Sabo, the Vice President of Specialty Products with Merck. And he will be followed by a few words from Henry Hebert, a First Nations volunteer with the Carnegie Centre and The Gathering Place. And last but not least, we'll be hearing from Tico Kerr, a Vancouver-based artist and a heart client. After we wrap up the formal part of the announcement, the minister and uh, stage guests will uh, uh, be part of the uh, uh, refreshment uh, following the procedures. It sounds like we're going to have them for refreshments. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. <laughs> uh, before we begin, I'd also like to acknowledge our other podium guests, uh, Dr. Rika Gustafson. Uh, Rika is here uh, and is the Medical Health Officer and Medical Director of the Communicable Disease Control with Vancouver Coastal Health. Dr. Evan Adams, BC Aboriginal Health Advisor and Dr. Susan McDonald, Northern Interior Medical Director uh, with Northern Health. So with that introduction of our podium guests, it's my great pleasure to introduce the uh, Minister of Health Services, the Honourable Kevin Falcon. Thank you, Dan. 